All right, so today is an exciting day. I'm out here at Mechanic Steve shop. I don't know if I've ever filmed in here. I filmed dropping off these tractors and my computer crashed and I lost all the footage. But I'm back out here today because Mechanic Steve has his very own tractor. He has a Fordson Dexta just like mine and uh, so he's got his own restoration project. We uh, picked this up last night. I hauled it out here for him and I'm gonna grab these two tractors and take them back home with me. So uh, basically the deal is there's, there's a little Kubota here, my L175 and my Zetter 7711. And these are here because they needed some work that was really on like the, uh, I guess you could say the higher end of the spectrum of things I was comfortable with. And I haven't really had time for insane mechanical projects or well, I guess, if I was less busy, I would have done this stuff myself, but I'm not, and Mechanic Steve's a real mechanic, so <laughs> when this needs something like having this entire uh, gear set taken apart to change a bearing in it, or this tractor, for instance, not going into gear, if you guys remember my longer term viewers, it was getting stuck in gear. The other thing is someone wore down this transmission gear real nice. So between doing the, the bearing and that, taking apart all that final drive stuff and literally splitting this tractor and I think you had to disassemble pretty much all the transmission to change this out. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, instead of making time for it, I basically just pawned it off on Mechanic Steve because that's what friends are for. And today we're gonna test it out and uh, yeah, drive these things around. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I actually split this tractor apart three separate times. The radiator's losing a little bit of fluid, it's finding its own level. But basically what's going on is this thing had a, uh, a problem where one of the shift forks went too far back and it let a shift pawl, I think that's the technical term, come out and everything got bound up. Mechanic Steve was able to figure this out and no one else has, and now I think it's good. Uh, what, the thing about this is this tractor has 460 hours, they had 459 point something earlier, so that means the hour meter's working. And, um, you know, 460 hours on a machine that's been around since I think the 1970s, to be honest with you guys, I think this is just plain defective. I think something at the factory wasn't set right so it gets stuck in gear and people park the, uh, the tractor because of it. Yeah, I think people park the tractor because of it, because you can see that's first gear. Second. Third. Fourth. So it actually works. It has not done this, to my knowledge, the entire time that it has been uh, <laughs> in existence, pretty much. The guy I bought it from, he used to just pop it out of gear and I guess that was, uh, that worked, but now, check this out, we can put this thing in high range. Oh, you know, we'll leave it in gear, we're gonna, we're gonna fly. <laughs> 70 PSI oil pressure in this thing too. power steering but the whole tractor weighs like 1200 pounds so uh where's first i think that's first so not really necessary and i'm impressed because like i said 
I really think Steve has it. You know, previously it used to not survive more than one or two changes of gears. And uh, now, I mean, we've changed the gears in this a whole bunch of times, just driving it around the place, and it has not gotten stuck. So I'm really impressed with Mechanic Steve, because like I said, he's really the only one who's ever figured this out. I think it's been doing this pretty much since it was new. bearing in the Zetter. The guy really does do it all. All right, so we got the Zetter running. Don't know how many RPMs because my tachometer quit working. <laughs> but uh, let's see what's going on here. Stable 160 degrees. It's charging. Got a pretty solid chunk of oil pressure. And uh, so this came over for two problems. One, the, one of the bearings for the back wheels was messed up. So you're driving along and the tractor doesn't stay swimming. It goes go boom, go boom. Like that from time to time. So Mechanic Steve, he actually made a video about the repair. He took this whole final drive apart and changed out a bearing. Like with the Kubota, I probably would have eventually figured it out. But you know, I'm not a mechanic. I have my own projects going on. And he had time to mess with it. So I figured I'll just bring it over to him. All right, we'll take this thing for a drive. Got to move the uh, the parking brake here. That's <laughs> that's something else I still got to fix is that linkage. I think the brakes are fine on the tractor, it's just the linkage is messed up. All right, here, stick a leg in here so it's harder to fall off the side. All right, you ready? Okay, you want to do the mule or the Uh, both. Okay. Use your best artistic judgment. Are you gonna try to pivot this around and dump it in your shop? Yes. Director of his own now, so you guys have to hound him and tell him to work on his Fordson. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Glad this is over.
Let me go work in the shop for a few hours after I park this truck.